In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to assign multiple tracks to a submix bus. If you have several tracks with a similar instrument or sound, or whatever tracks you decide, it's possible to route these tracks to a submix bus and control the overall level using a single fader. In this demonstration I have four vocal tracks which I want to assign to a submix bus. Here's a quick listen. So I'm happy with the internal balance I've set for the four vocals and the next thing is to assign them to a bus. First I need to add a bus. So I'm selecting track 4 which is Vox 4. Then I'm right clicking then choose insert delete tracks new submix bus. And the new bus is inserted below. And if I open the mixer the submix bus is grey with a blue fader. Although the colour will depend on the skin you're using. I'm going to undo that and show you this time how to insert a bus from the mixer. Open the mixer. I want to insert the bus to the right of the last track which is Vox 4 so that must be selected. I'm right clicking where it says number 4. Then choosing insert delete tracks new submix bus. The submix bus has been created and I'm naming it Vox bus. But the fader won't do anything until I've assigned the tracks to this submix bus. So I'm going to do that next. What I need to do is select the first track which is Vox 1 by clicking on the number 1. And then I'll open my graphical keyboard so you can see the keyboard shortcut I'm using. I'm going to hold down Shift. Then left click and select the fourth track which is Vox 4. And all tracks in between are selected. And then where it says Master I'm going to choose Vox Bus. You can now see that all those selected tracks have been added to the Vox Bus. So I'm clicking on the strip to the left of the mixer to deselect all the tracks. So now when I press playback I can adjust the bus fader and this will change the relative level of the vocal tracks which are routed to the bus.